Hi, I'm Chad with Turf Organics, and today we're gonna learn about the number one problem you're gonna deal with with your St. Augustine grass in fall or winter, and that is brown patch fungus, also known as large patch fungus. Let's get into how to get it under control. With this fungus, St. Augustine grass is absolutely the most affected. Now this can affect zoysia as well, but it's very commonly seen in St. Augustine grass. Now it's most common to see this fungus in November through May when temperatures drop below 80 degrees. This fungus is mostly triggered by rainfall, excessive irrigation, and extended periods of high humidity where the leaf blades can stay wet up to over 48 hours. So with that conclusion, Moisture is absolutely your number one issue dealing with this fungus. This fungus affects the leaf blade closest to the soil. A dark rotting look will occur at the base and if you go to pull on the leaves they'll be very easily to pull off of the runners and have a dark rot spot on the bottom. In good news though, the roots are not affected by this pathogen so most likely you won't get full kill off in just thinning areas of the lawn. So here's the yard with several spots of the fungus. And what you'll see is, uh, is it grows in circle formations. Here's a great example of it in here and kind of like actually it looks like a heart, but kind of two circles there. Here's a really good look at what it looks like when it's starting. As you can see, they're, they're just a bunch of little circles, but the big identifying factor is that ring around. See how uh, bright orange yellowish it is around this ring? That's how you know it's active. So if you look over here at these bigger spots, they're not nearly as active. You have a lot of the damage, which is the browning, but the, or the bright orange is what's active. And as you can see, it's just a little bit around here, but these are some new spots that have popped up. And you can definitely tell that Ooh, that bright orange yellow color and as I go to pull on the grass pulls up extremely easily and very black and rotted at the base. It'll start as small spots like this and grow very rapidly into bigger spots over there. Now let's go over some good cultural practices to help prevent and or treat the fungus. Of course, as we went over, moisture is a huge issue of this fungus. So of course, keeping the lawn in these areas as dry as possible is the absolute best thing you can do. Now, one of the worst things you can do is when you have most active funguses, but especially brown patch, is fertilize it. More nitrogen will feed the fungus and make it a lot harder to control and spread a lot quicker. If you want to do anything, low release potassium would be great because those are all root developers and will help the lawn recover. If you want to know about potassium and other nutrients that can help stress lawn recover, I'll put the link down in below of a video I made going over nutrients and fertilizers. To help avoid moisture, you should make sure your irrigation is turning off as the sun is coming up. Early mornings are absolutely the best way to water. And especially when you're having an issue like this, you do not want moisture sitting overnight. And also when mowing, the rule is, if it's brown, go around. So either let your lawn guys know, or if you're mowing the lawn yourself, do not mow over these brown areas. Just mow around the areas and let them be. Now, if they happen to start getting tall, as you see there is green grass in between that is growing. So if these areas do begin to get tall, you can mow over them, but I would do it last. I would mow the rest of your lawn, then mow these areas and wash your mower blades off really well. Now those cultural steps should absolutely be taken first. If you can get your lawn to get dry enough and the conditions to be right, the fungus will die out and those areas could recover. Now most of the times here in Florida, we have unpredicted rainfall and even controlling your irrigation, moisture is usually a problem and humidity can also feed the fungus. The next best action on top of those cultural practices would be to treat it with a fungicide. And the good news is there's a huge list of fungicides that do treat this fungus. So there's many, many different products that can treat this fungus. What I highly recommend to any homeowners looking to do it themselves is to look up a fungicide that actively has the treatment of brown patch or large patch fungus on the label. So using the steps of keeping the areas dry and then treating with the fungicide, you can easily get this fungus under control. I recommend any homeowners to use a dry granular fungicide because the application method will be extremely simple if you use. Are you ready? Bam! 
one of these right here. These are called whirly gigs. You usually put the product in the top and it's got a, a spreader on there. Follow all instructions on the label where the proper PPE, put the product in the top and apply it to all the areas. Super simple, super easy way to get control. And, and now after the fungus is actively treated, you will still see these big brown areas. As long as the bright orange ring is gone, that means the fungus is no longer active and now it will take time to recover. Now usually if the lawn thins out, you can put soil in the areas to help it recover, but you will need to wait till spring because the old damage has to grow out and be mowed away. So until it gets three to four good mows, the damage will still be there. So unfortunately, you'll still have big brown spots in the lawn, but as long as they're not bright orange and active, that's the best you can do. Give it some good potassium. Once the spring comes, do proper fertilization practices, and within the next couple mows, all the damage will be gone, and you'll have a beautiful lawn coming to the spring until you have all those spring issues. But of course, we have videos about this as well, so check out the links below for those videos. And thank you for watching. We appreciate if you like, subscribe, give us a comment, let us know how we're doing on these videos and videos you would like to see. We love making these and helping homeowners take control of their lawn. This is Chad with Turf Organics, and everyone, have a great rest of your day. Stay warm.